this very clearly. Now, friend, this is a psychological term, general adaptation syndrome is nothing but in simple terms, this is called the stages of stress. So there are three stages of stress, alarm stage, resistance stage, and exhaustion stage. I will not go into the psychology part of it that becomes very lengthy and the time does not permit me to enter into all these things. But I will give you a very easy example which will make it very clear as to what are these three. A very good example is, now suppose infectious, infectious agents like bacteria and virus, they enter our body. When these infectious agents enter our body, what happens? The moment they enter our body, our immune system, that is the soldiers of our body, it resists the invaders, that is bacteria and virus. Our immune system starts to resist and fight those invading agents. Most of the times it is successful, but many times, the soldiers, that is the immune system, is not able to resist the invaders. It is exhausted in that process. It is tired. So in that case of exhaustion, what happens is, the result is fever. So that is one very easy example to understand what is general adaptation syndrome. Now, it is important to know the sources of stress. See, stress is caused due to some sources. Without sources, stress will not come. Basically, sources of stress can be divided into two parts. External causes and internal causes. Now, external causes of stress is physical, psychosocial. Internal causes are psychological and psycho-spiritual. Let us understand these terms in very easy manner. It seems to be very complicated words. So let us try to understand it easily. Now external sources of stress, that is physical stress. Now, first is trauma. Trauma means it is accident, it is a infectious disease, surgery in a hospital, this causes stress. This is called external source of stress, trauma. Second cause is environmental. Now, environmental is an external source of stress. The, the meaning of environmental is that air pollution, noise pollution, <coughs> toxins, pesticides, all these things cause stress. Third is illness, of course, nothing much to explain. Extreme weather, extreme hot weather, extreme cold weather, uh, and heavy rains, they paralyze the normal life. So they also are reasons for causing stress. These are the external physical stress, causes of physical stress. Next, psychosocial stress. Now this is also an external factor. Psychosocial stress means, first is relationship problems, whether at home or in office, this causes stress. Second is financial problems then unemployment, loss of loved ones. These are the psychosocial factors of stress which comes under the external factors. Now we move to the internal factors of stress, internal causes of stress. Social isolation is again a psychosocial stress. Internal sources, one is psychological stress. This is different from external sources. This is internal source of stress. Psychological stress is emotional stress. We all face this in our lives. Everyone faces this. Emotional stress means what? Fear. Fear is the biggest emotional stress. Fear of the unknown, fear of death, fear of uncertainties. Then frustration. Frustration is also an emotional stress. So fear, frustration, anger. Anger is also emotional stress. Then cognitive. Cognitive is also psychological stress. Cognitive means it relates to the thinking, relates to the mind. Cognitive means mind. So cognitive causes of stress are broadly, see, this is an age of information overload. There's so much of information 
that it becomes difficult to choose ki, uh, from those. Like for example, when we present, prepare our presentations, so <laughs> there's an information overload. What to select, <laughs> what not to select. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is one information overload. Second uh, cognitive uh, factors of stress is, see, unworkable perfectionism. Let me tell you, this is a very, very common factor of cognitive stress. Unworkable perfectionism means, see, lot of people, lot of us, we try to achieve perfection in everything. That causes stress. That's a recipe for stress. See, we have to inculcate the habit of just okay. It's just okay. It's just enough okay. So if we don't inculcate this habit and go after perfectionism, this will create problem. So one example is OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. So there was a case when a person, he used to teen char bar, paanch bar khich khich ke dekha, band hua hai ki nahi, band hua hai ki nahi. Kuch loog to latak jate hain thale, thale mein. Ki band hua hai ki nahi. So this is again, you know, unconstructive perfectionism. So this causes stress. We should, you know, try to be just okay enough. No need to be perfectionist in everything. Psycho-spiritual stress. This is an internal cause of stress again. Loss of purpose. Search for a meaning in life. Not aligned with core spiritual beliefs. You are all educated enough and intelligent enough to understand the meanings of this. I need not go into the detail. So these are the psycho-spiritual stress, internal stress. Effects of stress. What are the effects of stress? Stress affects our body, our mind, emotions and behavior. Very quickly I will go through how does stress affect our body. Stress, due to the stress we have headaches, frequent infections because of the suppressed immune system, then fatigue, breathlessness, high BP, it is not mentioned here, high blood pressure, uh, then high respiration, perspiration, all this. And one more very important uh, uh, effect of body stress is uh, reduced saliva, dryness of the mouth. Lot of us must have experience in our life when we face extreme stressful situations. Uh, then yes, there is a dryness of mouth, and uh, you know that is also. Then mind, how does the stress affect our mind? We worry a lot. Thinking becomes muddled. We are not able to think clearly. Then judgment is also not good. These are the effects of stress on our mind. Uh, then negativity, indecisions, etc. Then emotions, loss of confidence. We become irritable, then depression, fear, and behavior may accident prone. A person who is under prolonged stress is accident prone. Then loss of appetite, insomnia, lack of sleep, restlessness and more smoking and drinking. These are the effects on our behavior. Now friends, having talked about the causes of stress, sources of stress, it's time to pause. <laughs> As very beautifully uh, told by Nimisha, it's time to pause because there's an information overload now. <laughs> so.